So as is the case with most mathematics, we're now moving on to more complicated absolute value equations. The, the process is the same. Uh, the, the difference is, is that we set what's we isolate the absolute value and then we set that equal to both the positive and negative uh, of whatever we have from that isolation. So we start off with 3x, the absolute value of 3x minus 5 minus 1 equals 6. We want to isolate that absolute value on one side by itself. So we add 1 to both sides and we get the absolute value of 3x minus 5 equals 6 plus 1 is 7. And now we set this equal to the negative because the absolute value of if 3x minus 5 equals negative 7 the absolute value is going to be 7 and if 3x minus 5 equals 7 it's going to equal 7. So we set this equal to the positive and negative of whatever we have on the right hand side. So 3x minus 5 equals negative 7 or 3x minus 5 equals 7. Add 5 to both sides. We get 3x equals negative 2. Divide both sides by 3. We get x equals negative 2 thirds. Or add 5 to both sides. 3x equals 12. Divide both sides by 3. And we get x equals 4. So x equals negative 2 thirds or x equals 4. Let's go ahead and check these solutions. We do that by simply plugging the values into our original equation, just as we have in the past. So the absolute value of 3 times negative 2 thirds minus 5 minus 1 we want to know does that equal 6 so 3 times negative 2 thirds that's going to be negative 2 so the absolute value of negative 2 minus 5 minus 1 does that equal 6 so this is the absolute value of negative 7 minus 1 does that equal 6 and we get 7 minus 1 equals 6 which verifies 6 equals 6. So x equals negative 2 thirds works. Does x equal 4 work? So this was x equals negative 2 thirds. Now we'll check x equals 4. So the absolute value of 3 times 4 minus 5 minus 1. Does that equal 6? So this is the absolute value of 12 minus 5 minus 1. 12 minus 5 is 7, so we have the absolute value of 7 minus 1. That's just 7 minus 1, which again is 6 equals 6, verifying both of our solutions. So the solution of the absolute value of 3x minus 5 minus 1 equals 6 is x equals negative 2 thirds or x equals 4.